still on the Sports Max Zone on this Friday and live in the studio with us at the moment, Natoya Gold, Panam Games champion, gold medal winner in 2019. Um, Olympic and World Championship finalist over 800 metres, Commonwealth Games uh, a success as well. And it's great to have her in the studio here talking about what uh, her career has been up to this point and her plans for the 2023 season. And she was telling you earlier, Leighton, about her plans for this summer and uh, how she plans to tackle the I think moves of this world. Yep, absolutely. And it's something that, of course, everybody has to be, to, because I think Moo is a beast when it comes to the 800 meters. Of course, she dominated at Texas at, um, Texas A&M Texas in, in the 400, you know, 4759, I think it was, 4959, I think it was, or 4957, it was ridiculous. Mm. But I wanted to ask you, Natalia, last year, Chris and Gordon upset you on a very wet track. But she's not here this year because, you know, she just had a baby. Yeah. Just like your, your good friend, Shawnee, who won the heptathlon at the, the Bahamian Championships, yeah. which is ridiculous, <laughs> 10 weeks after having a baby. But, what, but what I wanted to ask you is this. Are you disappointed that there are not more young women following in your footsteps? Because, I mean, occasionally you'll have some competition at trials. You know, last year it was Chris and the year before, I'm trying to remember who it was. But consistently we're not seeing any young 800 meter runners coming up, getting the scholarships to college, and you know, and following in your footsteps. Are you disappointed because you're you've been in this thing for a long time? It would be nice to have seen a, a few people coming through. Yes, I am disappointed because you know we're not just a 100 meter, 200 meter um, country. We have distance runners. You can see in high school there are a lot of distance runners um, at boys and girls champs did well, and you know after they leave high school and go, I think because of the workload which it gets hard with training. Mm. Um, I think they probably can't manage it, so they shy away from the event because 800 is brutal. Like racing is so much easier than actually work, mm. yeah, working out. But you know, you have, because Adele, she runs the 1500, but she also runs 800. She'll be running the 800 mm -hmm. here at the national trials, but her focus is more the 1500. So I would say, you know, she's there, but we need more persons because she's focused on 1500. And I think there are talented athletes that can be able to, you know, tackle the 800 and do well, but they have to have the mindset as well. Because if you don't have the mindset, then you will not be able to. Yeah, because Kristen, for example, was a 400 meter runner for the last, but when she was going to home at four and eight. Yeah, she and been. Then, <laughs> and then she went back down to the four when she was in Florida and then was well she told me that she was doing four and eight last year mm -hmm. you know but we don't see anybody else on the, on the horizon coming through at all it's like you're looking out there and is is an empty space you know you you would, would have hoped yeah given the success that you've had and and Kenya Sinclair before yeah, you yeah Kenya Sinclair was, was pretty solid yeah. at the world level as well mm -hmm. before you came on the yeah. scene yeah you're not seeing that many people coming through and it's disappointing I want to ask you something because we mentioned Shani you and Shani are really good friends because you were a bridesmaid at her wedding. Yeah. Talking about that relationship, given the rivalry that <laughs> Bahamians and Jamaicans have on the track, how did that relationship it's come about? It's so hard to, when I see Shawnee and Sherika them um, competing against each other because Sherika is Jamaican, Shawnee is my good friend. So it's like a bittersweet moment, you know, but that actually came because I was friends with her sister. I ran against her sister at junior college and also at Carifta. And, you know, I, after that, I became close, especially with the family. They're like a second family to me. Like the mom, the dad, everybody. We spoke like, to their mom on the show yesterday. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, they're Maybelline. like my second family. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, you know, from then it just blossom and, you know, just continue up until now. So, you know, we're just really good friends. Yeah, because, you know, the funny thing about this is that Shawnee seems to have very good relationships with Jamaican athletes because she yeah. roomed with... Chinese Porter when she was at, yes. Saint, at George's University of <laughs> yeah. Georgia. Yes. You know, and she maintains these very strong relationships with her friends among which, you know, because you don't get invited to become a bridesmaid of probably one of the greatest 400 meter runners just by being around, you know. Yeah, so I think Jamaica love her too because yes, she's the I only think... one that can beat the Jamaicans and yep. they don't cuss. <laughs> <laughs> how good is she though? Huh? Shawnee Miller, people. how good is she? She's, she's, she's good. Mm. She, like that girl talented. Bad. Mm. Like she went 51 in, 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 in um, high school and then she just continue and just, you know. Yeah, she was the first person to beat Sherika Jackson at Carifta as well. Yeah, mm. and the 200 as well. Mm -hmm. She beat Anthony because Anthony was, was beating her, but then she beat Anthony to win Carifta. Mm. And it was. And she won, the, is the, what, what she won was the hip. 
Oh, no, she loved it. I know, she told Trust me. me. She, she loves it. So yeah. I, I was not surprised when I saw that she was doing it after yeah. her trials. Yeah. She loved it. Well, actually, her mom told us she just competed in the HEP to help her younger sister yeah. because her younger sister, Shawnee, mm -hmm. is, is a HEP runner, yeah. HEP performer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so she just joined her in the competition to... You know, give her some. They're a loving some family. They, I, they, I, I can see they that. They well blend together. And her yeah. brother just won the bronze yeah, at, at the CSE um, Games. Games. Yeah. Sean, Sean Miller. Miller. Yeah. yeah. Talk to us quickly about the. I want to use the word intimidated, but that may be a bit of a stretch. The Caribbean athletes and the potency of the Caribbean track and field stars. When you're on the collegiate circuit, what is the kind of relationship that you have with the? American athletes who see you, um, Caribbean athletes, as so much of a threat to their NCAA circuit? You know, I don't think they feel anyway. They're actually like, well, probably some of them might, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, like we go there to do what we have to do. We, even if that's going on, we don't really know because we just come to do what we have to do. We are, we, we, I consider us like we, we are go-getters. You know, we 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 are on a scholarship. We have to maintain that because if you don't maintain that, you can lose a scholarship. So we just go there to do all, what we have to do. But I know with college-wise, you know, you're a team. It's not like when Jamaica running against the U.S. Yeah. Then it's like a big rival. I'm not, I'm not necessarily talking about your teammates, but let's yeah. say you are we are running for for Arkansas. And the Americans on the Americans on the Clemson team. Yeah. How do you, how do they feel about you you guys? No, they 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 feel good about us. You know okay. they're happy. Yeah. <laughs> they want to beat Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question though: You're running the four and the eight yeah. at these championships. Why? You know, I've always wanted like every year to at least because part of it is like training because I am not able to do three rounds, and when you go to a championship, you have three rounds. And so my coach, every year we try to run the four and eight, but they always have the 400 back to back with the 800. And that was, cause I used to run the 800 on mm -hmm. Saturday, night, Saturday night. So you'd have the 400 first, then you have the 800. So I wasn't able to, to do it. No, I did it one year yes, because there was, I think the 15 or the 5,000 was in between. So I was able to do it in 2011, mm -hmm. but now it's like back to back. I know a lot of persons don't do four eight, but I feel, if they give us the chance, it can happen. So well, it's Al Alberto Juan Torino, Torino, the great Cuban, won the four My eight double at, the, at, the, at the Montreal Olympics in, in 1976. 76. Yeah, but you see, in Olympics, world champs, they are spread out. That's right. Yeah. They don't give us that chance at trials. Mm. They want to put it back to back, even in NCs. Yes. They're like it's 30 minutes in between. Mm. Um, to it, you know, so you can't run it, mm -hmm. you know. But I know a lot of persons probably would want to do it, but they, you know, it's too, it's too hard double. I'm not gonna lie, it's it is a hard, it's a hard <laughs> it's double. A hard like double. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if we get a chance, then we'll, I feel like more persons will be able to, you yeah. know, do the double mm. because I know I can. I train for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the 400 gives you some speed work for the, yes, for the 800. Yeah, for the 800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I get to run, I run 51, that means I must can come through a 56 in the 400 of the 800, yeah. right? Yeah. I have like five seconds to spare. <laughs> 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 you know? So coach is on me. You yeah. just won 51. Yeah. But the six is nothing. Yes, yeah, that's negative. how he is always on. Absolutely. <laughs> so I have a final question for you. Re, re your career. I mean, you had a solid career. You know, you're what 32 now. Yeah. Yes. You're married now, and, and I know you love your husband very much. How much <laughs> longer do you do this? Um, you know. Uh, that's a question you have to take up to God. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I know this is probably going to be my last Olympics next year because. I mean, I want to run till me old. <laughs> <laughs> but 30, it's 30 hard work. is not old. I know, but I've been running since my idea, I'm mean, nearly. So it's like, mm -hmm. I always joke and say, enough mileage to find the legs. Mm -hmm. So I always say, I don't want to run past 35, but what if I go and that's when I actually run the fastest? So I can't really put, you know, a time on or longer but i know probably this is my last olympics i don't mm. know about world champs but mm -hmm. it's probably my last olympics world champs is in tokyo in 2025 so which is the year not the year after next 
Yeah, I know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here on maybe. Maybe oh. after that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't know. Basically, you're listening to your body. But basically, that's going to be Olympics too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Olympics is what, 2020? 20, 2024 20, and then 2025 yeah. is the is the world champion. And then 2026 is, is just... No, then 2028 20, is Los Angeles. Oh, so the next I, Olympics is 2028. For sure, I won't be at 2028. Maybe, you know, the analyst panel or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you know, I keep telling the story lately that Merle Notti told us in 1996 that Atlanta 96 would have been her last yeah. Olympics. Really? And she was in Athens 2004. 2004. So really? I, I have learned not to listen to these athletes when, when they say this is it for them. Quickly before you go, after you retire, you studied communications in college. Um, your personality and your knowledge, yeah. I would suggest that you may have a career in the media when you're finished. Listen, media personnel out there. Natoya Gould, after retirement, needs a job. <laughs> <laughs> Great having you on the show, and, and we'll remember that. We, remember we, we that have that on tape. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Natoya Gould, she runs the 400 and 800 meter in the coming days at the Jamaica National Championships in Kingston, Jamaica, and look out for her in Budapest uh, in August at the World Championship. Thanks, Natoya, for being here on the Sports Night Zone. Thank great, you. great having you here, and we go to break. Back with more on the Zone after this. Thank you.